Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Here we are with a new world to play. So let's have some fun. This is Gelato Beach. Dune Bud Sand Castle secret. So we've got a secret. So this is a new, really new area. Uh, it's got some new enemies. It's got those weird duck things are actually enemies. Um, they have a really annoying trait. Um, let's see if I can get them to do this. So if you go too close to one of them and they see you, they will grab you and they will fling you in the air for damage. Or actually, in that case, they didn't damage me. <laughs> Maybe it's only the red ones. However, one can in fact defeat them. Not by jumping them, that's the funny part. You actually have to use these things. So, basically it's a weird little plant thing that you blow up, basically, um, with the water. And then it fires, and it, uh, it just explodes everywhere. And uh, sends people flying, and it creates weird sandcastle things. It's quite interesting. Uh, I just noticed two blue coins over here, so I'm going to grab them before we continue with this level, since this is probably one of the safer incarnations of this region. It's got a very simple goal. I remember this one. It does have, of course, a secret level, which is going to suck. Uh, so we can continue. Um, but we should be fine with that. Plus, it's just a really awesome place. Who wouldn't want to spend time on a beach like this? I mean, this looks like a resort paradise, almost. Although, to be fair to the game, this is actually not the resort level. <laughs> there is a resort level in this. Okay, let's see. Nope, that failed. Basically, you have to swing the swing. Ha 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 ha. Continue. I saw another blue coin off to the left. I'm not going to use the blue coins, probably, um, if I can help it, but I might as well uh, gather the ones I see, right? Oh my gosh, there's another blue coin there. Pretty sure that's just the angle making it look like there was two there. Really? It's under the sand. Uh, it should be here somewhere. Come on, game. You can figure this out. It's drifted under the sand and there's nothing I can do about it. Let's try and get this one. Avoid the red fish, because that causes trouble. Or the pinkish red fish. Or uh, maybe not. Let's just try it. This one doesn't look like it's got anywhere to disappear under the water. Hey, and there's another blue one there. Wow, this place is just blue coin heaven. If you need blue coins. Come on, get that. Stupid coin, Mario. There we go. <clears throat> ah, the fish is gonna catch me. Normally it drags you to the bottom, so it's basically there. I think it just kinda let me go. Okay, let's go get... I see another blue coin. What is this madness? Blue coins everywhere. Oh wait, that's the one with the fish. They finally emerged from underwater, or under the sand, the coin has. We'll come back to these areas, but it's just kind of fun to get them now. Really? You're serious. There you are. Get back here, coin. No, you're... It's like as soon as I get near the coin, it goes underwater. Or under the sand. Yeah. It seems to go under the sand whenever I get near it. That's annoying. Yeah, look at that. Every time you get near it, it goes under the sand. Yep. 
So I bet I have to wait till it comes out completely and then ambush it, basically. I just can't get to it in time. Okay, we're gonna give up on that one. I'm sure there's a sneaky, easy way to do it, but I don't know it. So anyway, let's go do this secret level, which is probably going to suck. Because secret levels are annoying. They're kind of fun, but come on, the real thrill of this game is just running around with the, uh, the water spring device. Just soaking everything with flood. That's the real thrill of the game. Seriously? See, this is the danger, is if you're not careful, you can just get stuck in an endless loop of flips and stuff. There we go. Huh, I wonder what we have to do. Let's follow the crazy arrow. And lose Flood again. I have to wonder how Shadow Mario is always just standing right there. Oh, this one. Eat this one. So these blocks right in front of you are sand blocks. So when I jump on this, they're gonna start disappearing. Which means I have to do this smoothly in one motion, basically. Uh, I'm what they do reappear after a time, which is nice. One of these should have a mushroom in it. I would guess. Nope, that's just a coin. By the way, these jumps on these things are really treacherous. Like, you can slide off the map so easily. There we go. Okay, so it's the back left one. Okay, focus. This is... Nope. You can, like, grab the edge of things and have just enough time to pull yourself up, but once you start falling, it's a problem. Thank goodness we found the mushroom. You'll notice I have more lives than the last video. I did a couple runs of gathering mushrooms. Okay. 18 lives. I, I knew I, I knew as soon as I went off course I was dead. As soon as I start you start zigzagging, it's all over. There's no recovery from that. Mario is not very good at maneuvering on his own in this game. Okay, let's try this again. I gotta get the angle right, because if I'm off, it's death. Okay, made it to a checkpoint, kind of. So, uh, next spot is the green platform. Once we get past the green platform, that rest of that mountain is just all, uh, I have to do it in one go, basically. Now, I don't know what happened with Mario there. Like, he just stopped moving at one point. Okay. This could take quite a few goes. I actually remember this one for how annoying it is. All the sand block levels suck. To be fair, almost all the secret levels are awful. I mean, they're challenging, and it's fun to do them, but they also suck. They're annoyingly hard. It's like trying to no damage run Dark Souls or something sometimes. It's just... There we go. Okay, now I gotta plot how I wanna do this. 
So this involve so I Mario cannot jump up these with a normal jump. You have to do these type jumps easily. And I've already screwed up so badly. Okay, I don't know why Mario didn't do his back jump. There we go. That makes life easier. Okay. Come on, Mario. I wanted him to do this spin around jump thing, and he didn't. There we go. I really just wanted the mushroom. <laughs> Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone so hard for that mushroom, but okay. As long as you can do back flips here, you can make it. There we go. So my skill climbing that pyramid thing, or whatever you would want to call that monstrosity, really goes to underscore how many times I've had to do that in the past. <laughs> Way too many times in that care to count. Okay, nothing's changed. We're getting, we should be getting pretty close to a checkpoint for like a new change in the world. Um, like new items and stuff. Uh, where is that? There we go. I'm just gonna quick grab these two mushrooms in this area and that, just so we have enough lives. Cause there's a lot of um, secret levels in that beach area. At least I remember at least two of them, both of which are hard. I might have just done one though. So. Easiest way to gather mushrooms though I found is these two right here. If you do them every level you do, even if you die once, you come out with a positive amount of mushrooms. Uh, let's go this way. Ride the random massive jump upwards. You know what? I wonder, can I spray this? I can. All I get though is a single coin. Ow. Doesn't make much difference. Taking damage there. Let's see if we can do another level a little bit faster. This one. Mirror Madness. Tilt, slam, bam. This one is... Unless you know what you're doing, it's rather tricky. Once you know what you're doing, it's still a little tricky, but it's easier. Alert, alert, just look at the top of the tower. Come on. I, I see them. Some weird thing is curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Yep, it does. So, let's do this. You know what? This trail of coins to here looks extraordinarily suspicious. Also, by the way, I just like launched one of the, the guy in the shell here really high up. Um, there's a blue coin in there. Okay, let's go snag that. Oh, it's one of those roofs that you can hold on to. We're going to see a lot of those in the next area. Basically, you can kind of climb around on it. Pretty interesting. Now the question is, how do I get down? Okay, okay so this level, uh, basically, you have to get all the creatures off the mirrors. So we'll start with the easy one first. The game really does not do a great job of telling you how you're supposed to get these guys off. Basically, you have to get them to the other side, and then you have to do a slam, and you send them flying. Of course, it's easy with one, two, and three get a lot harder. And of course, you have to do all three. Yeah. 
There's a lot of cool little things in this level, but this is not necessarily one of them. Um... Okay, let's... I actually... Getting up there is going to prove to be a little bit harder than I would like. Stay up there, please. Okay, I don't know how they just missed that badly. Got one. This guy is proven to be really stubborn. There we go. Two done. Not looking forward to trying to do three. I might just do one, then run, and then try and do another one. Thank you, Flood, for telling me something I already knew, but hey. Can I make this? I think I can. Okay, one down. Now, of course, it helps if I don't get knocked into them. It's actually really hard to do this fight because the mirrors tilt. Ow. There we go. Almost died. That was awful. That was really bad. I don't know if we just killed it or what. It just kind of fell apart. I suspect it's fine because we'll see it later, but. And now we go grab the shine sprites. Hopefully not dying to these weird duck-like creatures on the way. There we go. Get it with my feet. Kick it in the air. Wonderful. 30. A little sloppy, but the angles are the angles and the camera angles on that fight are just weird. Um, anything changed? No. We already obviously completed that level. Uh, let's try this one again. I'm pretty sure we have a boss fight next. Or maybe it's another secret. Yep, it's a boss fight. We can win these boss fights in a couple of minutes, usually. The guy we just kicked off, Wiggler, is unhappy. So, beating Wiggler is... Suffice to say, semi-annoying. He basically follows the set path, and it's just a matter of getting him when he comes around. There we go. That's basically what you do. Oh wow, that actually worked? That, I didn't think that was gonna work. We'll 
just use this guy. He seems to, that Wiggler tends to avoid him from what I can see. Well, Wiggler didn't get anywhere near him. Okay, he seems to be on a different path now, so let's move over to this one. I think we got him. I if I can get to him in time. There we go. Wiggler worn out. There we go. For some reason, it really likes putting the sun spite over there. Let's just do a power power slide here with the wet water. Look really awesome while doing it. And get it again with the feet. Shine. Got it. Awesome. Moving right along. To be fair, Wiggler's about the same difficulty as Petey Piranha, so... Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to do a standard, you know, collect the mushroom run, but you guys don't need to be around for that. Although it helps if I can find what I'm looking for. So anyway, I will let you guys go, and I will see you all in the next episode. So bye for now.